In this video, we're going to cover how to build a bill of materials for a Ruckus ICX 7650. Uh, so first, the 7650 is kind of a premium access or aggregation switch. Um, it can suit either role. In fact, it could even be a, a core in many situations. Uh, so as always, make sure you have the latest price list. Grab that from the partner portal under sales resources. Um, that updates on a frequent basis, so it's important to have the latest greatest. Um, so having a look here at the uh, 7650 comes in a few different flavors. So um, there's the uh, 7650-48ZP, so the Z series. So it has 24 two and a half, five, 10 gig ethernet ports with PoE plus or, uh, or uh, 802.3 BT. So 90 watt also does 60 watt. Um, there's the, uh, the 7650-48P, which is 48 ports of one gig with PoE plus uh, and eight ports are, so the eight ports highlighted in yellow there are uh, 60 watt or, uh, or 90, 90 watt. Uh, and then we have the uh, the 7650-48F, which is 48 ports of a 10 gig fiber. So it's actually, it's 24 ports of 10 gig fiber, I should say, and 24 ports of one gig fiber. So 24 ports of 10 gig fiber, 24 ports of one gig fiber. Um, let's see, uh, we'll talk about the, the power supplies in a second, but dual hot swappable power supplies and fans. Uh, and then there's a, an optional uplink module on the front side, which could be 4x10, uh, 2x40, or 1x100 gig um, uh, in the front end. Uh, so here's the rear view. So we have hot swappable redundant power, um, front or rear airflow, hot swappable redundant fan trays, uh, and then um, there is this built-in module here in the back which is four by uh, either 40 gig or two by 100. So um, uh, you, you could use this for stacking or for uplink. So if you use them for uplink, then you've got two by 40 or two by 100. But if you use them for stacking, then you've got four by 40 or two by 100. Um, so those are built in. That's not a module you need to purchase. Um, so stacking, you can stack up to 12 of these together, just like anything in the uh, in the ICX 7000 series. So up to 12 of them together. We support long distance stacking, so you can go up to 10 kilometers uh, between devices in the stack. Um, your stack, again, could be 2 by 100 gig. So you could have a 200 gig stack connection coming out of this box uh, or 4 by 40 uh, should you wish to do so. Um, there's no licensing or module required for that stacking as well, right? Those are built-in ports, so, you know, you get those out of the box. So you don't have to buy a license to do that. Uh, so the, the front module slot, so there is no rear module slot, it's built in in the rear. So the front module could be a 1 by 100, uh, it could be a 2 by 40, um, and, or it could be a 4 by 10 gig fiber. So those are all uplink only. You cannot stack with that front module, uh, so I should point that out. Um, and, uh, and there's a note here that the, the 1 by 100 gig is not available for the 48P. So it is available for the other models, just not that, not that 48P. So what comes in the box? You get the, the, uh, the 7650 device itself. Uh, you're going to get two post rack kit. You're going to get um, probably a power supply and a fan, but that depends on the bundle. And if it does have a power supply included, it will also have a US AC power cord uh, installed or in the, in the accessory kit, I should say. Uh, you'll get a power cord retainer clip. You'll get a console cable and a DB9 adapter. You'll get uh, four rubber feet. So if you wanted to, to stick it on your desk and use it that way without racking it, you certainly could. Um, and then no add-on modules unless it's bundled in the SKU. So they'll just be filler plates there uh, where the, where the add-on module goes in the front. Uh, so switch SKUs, right? So we have um, the 7650-48ZP-E. So that's a bundle 
with one power supply and fan tray. There's the 48P-E, um, which is the, uh, the uh, 48P version uh, with one power supply and one fan. Uh, and the 48F-E, which is the fiber version uh, with, with 24 1 gig and, and um, 24 10 gig with one power supply and one fan. So these are all dash E, all bundles are going to be dash E, right? So if you want dash I, then you're going to have to buy the, the base box and install those yourself. Um, we've got an, another set of bundles, same difference. It's just that it's going to have redundant power and fans uh, on the ZP, the P, and the F. Uh, and then we have uh, this third set, which is single power supply, single fan, but comes with three years of remote support. Uh, so above and beyond the, the limited lifetime warranty. And then lastly, the base bundles are, well, I guess it's not a bundle at all, frankly. It is just a base box, no power supply, no fan, no module. You need to add those all yourself. Um, so some additional SKUs here. So some some the options we've got the uh, the modules. So the one by 100 gig, the two by 40 gig, the four by 10 gig modules. Uh, we've got the power supplies. So the uh, RPS 15. So the non PoE uh, dash E and dash I. So again, I said if you need dash I, you need to build that yourself by the base device and build it yourself. Um, otherwise, all the bundles are dash E. Or, or exhaust uh, power uh, airflow uh, or front to back. Uh, so then there's the RPS 16. So these are the same power supplies that, that uh, we saw in the 7450. Um, so again, the PoE with exhaust or intake, uh, the fans with exhaust or intake, there's a MaxSec license if you want to run MaxSec, uh, premium layer three license, if you wish to run the premium layer three routing features um, and then a four post rack kit. So it comes with the uh, with the two post rack kit. So if you want a four post rack kit, you can add that on additionally. So warranty comes with the uh, limited lifetime advanced replacement. So next business day advanced replacement, um, you can upgrade that. So it comes with 90 days of eight by five tech support. So at a minimum, you're probably going to want to upgrade that at least to the remote support, which is seven by 24 uh, TAC access. Um, and the note, so uh, optical transceivers, your optics are not supported under the warranty. So if you want optics supported, then you're going to want to upgrade to um, at least to the, to the watchdog M NDP or four hour uh, to, to cover those. So as we just talked about the warranty, 90 days of tech support with advanced replacement, you can upgrade that to the watchdog or the bulldog. So reactive or proactive levels of support, uh, one, three, and five year available in both of those and um, next business day or four hour parts again on available on either one of those. So the sports cues, these are the watchdog ones. I didn't include the bulldogs, um, but uh, so four hour parts only for one, three and five years, next business day, one, three and five years, remote support, one, three and five years, and then secure uplink for federal customers that uh, in secure environments that don't uh, or cannot return the, the, uh, the equipment in a failure. So optics, um, there is not enough time to cover all of the optic optics available in the options. Always check that optics data sheet or check the optics matrix in the price list to determine which optics are supported uh, in, in, in what ports. So very important, make sure your optics are supported. And you know the note, third-party optics are not supported. They may function, uh, but we cannot assure the quality or test all third-party optics. So you know if there's an issue, TAC is gonna ask you to replace those optics with Ruckus optics before we continue to troubleshoot. So third-party optics are not supported. Um, as far as twin axe or direct attach cables go, um, we always recommend passive either for uplinks or for stacking. Um, passives run cooler, they draw less energy, and they're less expensive. So they are all around a win. 
Um, so you should use passive on anything less than five meters. So half meter, one meter, three meter, use passives, five meter um, or greater than you should be using an active cable. We do support actives for less, for, for shorter distances, but you know, the, the passives have all around advantages. As far as supported stacking interfaces goes on the uh, on the 7650, uh, first of all, module one, the one, two and a half, five, ten gig interfaces in module one do not support stacking whatsoever. Um, the module two, so so the front module does not support stacking on any of the uh, on the any of the interface modules. The rear Module three, which isn't actually modular, it's built in, uh, is the only way you can stack. So you can stack on the four by 40 gig. Uh, so you can use all four of those 40 gig ports if you wish, or you can use the two uh, by 100 to stack. So um, either way you wanna do that, most people would probably stack with the uh, two by 100, but completely up to you. Um, a note here is that breakout mode is not supported. So um, you can take those four by forties and break them out into uh, the, the 40 gig ports and break them out into four by 10 or take the, uh, the, the hundred gig modules and break them in into four by 25. However, um, breakout mode is not supported at the same time as stacking. So if you turn on stacking, um, then you cannot turn on breakout mode or vice versa. So that's an important limitation to keep in mind when you're, uh, when you're building your bill of materials. So sample bill of materials here. So here we have, uh, we, we've chosen a bundle. So it's a 7650-48ZP-E-RMT3. So probably the most common bundle we have. So here you're gonna get uh, the ZP, which is, which is 24 ports of one, two and a half, five, 10 gig with POH and 24 one gig ports um, on the same device, so it's 48 ports, but half and half. Uh, you're gonna get the um, uh, the four QSFP ports in the back, right? So um, either that is two by 100 or four by 40 with one power supply, one fan tray, and um, uh, three years of support with front to back airflow. Uh, in addition, since they've asked for redundant power, redundant fans, uh, layer three, uh, in this particular bill of materials, then we add an RPS 16. So we add the POE power supply. We um, also add the redundant fan tray. If you add redundant power, you got to add redundant fans. Um, we're adding a power cord because we've ordered um, the, the, in the bundle, it's going to come with a power cord, but we've ordered those three power supplies um, in addition. So we need three power cords. We need the layer three premium software. Uh, and then we need, we're gonna order uh, three of the one meter passive copper cables to stack them together. Uh, so we're stacking with 40 gig in this case. You probably wanna stack with 100 gig, but that's up to you. Um, you know, if 40 gig is sufficient, then by all means, you can certainly do that. Um, so three devices in the stack, three extra power supplies, three power cords, three fans, um, three layer three upgrades. You need to add premium to all of the devices in your stack. Uh, and then lastly, three stacking cables to pull that all together. So that's it. Uh, normally you're going to use the, uh, the bundles, uh, but by all means, if you want to buy the, the base device and add the um, the dash E or dash I power supplies, dash E or dash I fan trays, make sure they're all consistent. Um, you can piecemeal it together if you wish and add support onto that, but it's just usually much easier just to uh, go ahead and purchase the bundles. Okay, so that's it and uh, take care. Have a great day.